Proper care and maintenance of the Model 18130 requires some general disassembly, referred to as a field strip. This includes removal of the floor plate and follower, along with bolt removal and disassembly. This can be accomplished with a wooden surface and disassembly screwdriver. Ensuring the rifle is unloaded and safe is the first step to any disassembly or maintenance. To remove the bolt, with the bolt handle lifted and the bolt drawn to the rear, press the trigger and draw out the bolt to the rear. To remove the magazine floor plate, press the latch to the rear of the rifle and lift the floor plate. Compress the follower mechanism and remove the floor plate from the hinge pin. To disassemble the bolt, place it in the left hand, holding the bolt head with the index finger and the handle with the thumb. With the right hand, draw the hammer back so that the tenon of the camming lug comes out of the recess and the cocking lug does not come out of the fork of the connecting bar. Rotate the hammer to the left and release it. Remove the bolt head with the connecting bar from the bolt sleeve by moving them forward. To remove the bolt head from the connecting bar, rotate it, then move it forward. To remove the hammer, position the bolt sleeve vertically and rest the firing pin striker on a wood surface. Pressing with the left hand on the bolt sleeve handle, compress the mainspring as firmly as possible. With the right hand, Unscrew the hammer from the firing pin. Then gradually release pressure on the bolt handle. Remove the firing pin with the mainspring from the bolt sleeve. Lastly, remove the mainspring from the firing pin. With the rifle field stripped, it can be properly cleaned and then reassembled. Further disassembly of the rifle is covered in a separate training film. To assemble the rifle after a field strip, first install the mainspring on the firing pin. Insert the threaded end of the firing pin with the mainspring into the channel of the bolt sleeve. Position the bolt sleeve vertically, rest the striker on a wood surface, and pressing with the left hand on the bolt sleeve, compress the mainspring. Screw the hammer onto the firing pin until it is about flush with the rear of the firing pin. Gradually weakening pressure on the handle, Carefully lodge the camming lug of the hammer into the camming recess of the bolt sleeve. Using the appropriate notch of the screwdriver blade on the firing pin, rotate the firing pin as to position the slot on the end of the firing pin in alignment with the scribe mark on the knob of the hammer. Aligning the lug on the underside of the connecting bar with the channel on the bolt head, install the bolt head on the tube with the connecting bar and rotate it to the right to stop. Insert the firing pin in the channel of the connecting bar so that its fork engages the slots on the sides of the cocking lug. And the alignment of the lug of the bolt head fits in the slot of the bolt sleeve. Check the protrusion of the firing pin striker through the bolt head with the notch on the screwdriver blade. The striker should protrude to the depth of the notch marked with the number 95 of the screwdriver blade. and hang up on the shallow notch marked 75. If there is insufficient or excessive protrusion of the firing pin striker, remove the bolt head and connecting bar from the bolt sleeve and screw the firing pin in or out with the appropriate screwdriver blade notch.
Then reinstall the bolt head and connecting bar. And check protrusion again. With the firing pin striker properly adjusted, grasp the bolt head with the index and middle fingers of the left hand and the bolt sleeve handle with the thumb. With the right hand, pull the hammer back and rotate it to the right so the hammer camming lug tenon enters the notch on the bolt sleeve. This positions the rib of the hammer piece in line with the bolt sleeve handle. This completes assembly of the bolt. To install the magazine floor plate, press the follower with the spring and lever toward the floor plate. Fit the hook onto the hinge pin, release the follower, and close the floor plate. To install the bolt in the channel of the receiver, place the rifle on a table with the forearm down, pressing with the index finger of the left hand on the trigger to release the bolt stop and sear into their recesses. With the right hand, insert the bolt into the receiver channel. Deliver the bolt forward, rotate it to the right, and remove your finger from the trigger. To function check the rifle, lift the bolt handle and draw the bolt to the rear. The bolt should not come out of the receiver. Deliver the bolt forward and rotate it to the right. The hammer should be held to the rear by the sear covering the tang screw. Place the rifle on safe and pull the trigger. The trigger should move to the rear but the hammer should not be released. Place the rifle on fire and pull the trigger. The hammer should be released exposing the tank screw. The next film in the series will cover loading and unloading. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting and helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, a link to our Patreon page is in the description. For more information on this firearm and others, head on over to historyandfirearms.com.